everyone, it's Alice and today I thought we could have a little chat about some exciting new books coming out this year. So because we're in the early part of the year, I figured I would cover from now up until June and then I might do another video like this for the rest of the year when we get closer to it. And I'm just going to go through some books that I think look interesting. Obviously, there are loads more books coming out. These are just the ones that I'm most intrigued by. First up, we have got some books coming out this month, and the first one is my most anticipated release of the entire year, and it is The Survivors by Jane Harper. I have already ordered myself a copy of this, I'm literally just waiting for it to arrive at my house, and the minute it does, I am going to read that book because I'm so excited about it. Jane Harper is one of my favorite authors, I love her books, and I barely even know what this book is about. I don't even need to know because I will read whatever she writes. But I'm pretty sure it's set in like a small coastal town and there's some sort of like mystery. It is a standalone. I don't think it's a part of any of her series. And I can't wait for this book. Jane Harper is so good at creating like atmosphere and suspense and I'm sure this is going to be amazing. Secondly, we have got The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. So this one is a historical fiction novel and it's set in Texas in 1934, which I think is like in the middle of the Great Depression. And it's about this woman who is really struggling and she has to decide whether she should stay in Texas, which is where she's from, or if she should move west and try her luck elsewhere. And I just thought this sounded intriguing. I kind of want to read more of Kristen Hanna's work. I've read one of her books and I didn't love it, but I did like it. So I think if I could find the right story, I would love her books. Then there is How the One-Armed Sister Sweeps Her House by Cherie Jones. Just the cover and title alone of this is enough to like get me, but I did look into this a little bit and the story is set in Barbados which I love, and it's about these four people who are trying to make a better life for themselves. And I just think this sounds amazing. I also think it's her debut novel, which is always fun to read. Moving on to March, we have got Every Last Fear by Alex Finlay. This is a psychological mystery thriller about this man who I think his almost his entire family has died when they were on vacation in Mexico because of a gas leak. But then the FBI thinks maybe it wasn't an accident. And I think this man also has a brother who is in jail, but he has not committed the crime that put him there. So there's a lot going on in this. And I think the book is just about figuring out the truth, I suppose. And I just, I'm interested in this because it sounds very page turny. Then we have got another gorgeous looking book and this one is called The Last Apothecary by Sarah Penner. This is a historical fiction mystery type book and it's about this apothecary who mixes poison to liberate women from the men who have wronged them. Which sounds very good. <laughs> I think this is mostly set in like 1700s London but then it also has like a present day perspective and I don't know I just think it sounds intriguing and also whoever did the work on this cover like 10 out of 10 work. Next, we have got more historical fiction with The Rose Code by Kate Quinn. This novel is about three female code breakers at Bletchley Park during the war. And that's all I really know. I am interested in this because I love the movie The Imitation Game and I kind of want to read like more books about code breakers during the war. I really like books set in this era despite it being like war and all that. Then we've got another mystery thriller with Every Vow You Break by Peter Swanson. This one is about this newly married woman who is on her dream honeymoon and she's very happy until one of her past lovers show up and he's kind of crazy so things seem to turn very dark very quickly. And I kind of just want to read this because I read the book The Kind Worth Killing by Peter Swanson and I really enjoyed it and this sounds really good. We've made it to April now and first up here we have got a book called What Comes After by Joanne Tompkins. This is another mystery thriller and this one is set in like a small community in Washington state I believe and this small town has been like torn to shreds because of the murder of these two teenage boys who were found in some woods. But then this like pregnant teenage girl appears out of these woods and that has something to do with like this murder or something, it all ties together somehow. 
I don't know how, but I would love to read this book to find out. Then we've got a book where the title just got me right away, and it is Everyone Dies Famous in a Small Town by Bonnie Sue Hitchcock. You all know I love books set in small towns, and this one is actually a short story collection, and I think all of the stories focus on people who are quite young and from small towns, I'm guessing. And I've actually read another book by this author, which I don't remember a whole lot from, but I remember I loved the way she described the setting, and I think her writing will really work in short story formats, so I definitely need to read this one. We've then got another debut novel, and it is Of Women and Salt by Gabriela Garcia. I think this is one of those books that has both a historical perspective and a more present day or like a contemporary one. And it's about this family from Cuba who have ended up in Miami. And the story is all about this family and them dealing with displacement and trauma and their history. And I just think Cuba is a really interesting setting and I kind of like learning more about history even if it's through fiction and I haven't read a lot of books set in Cuba. Moving on in May we have got an exciting book coming out called Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I'm sure most of you know that Andy Weir wrote the book The Martian which I haven't actually read but I watched the movie and I really really liked the movie and this is also space related. It's about this astronaut I think who somehow has to like save the earth from disaster and I just love space stuff so I really want to give this a try. Then we have got a very summery looking book and it is Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I feel like this author has become very beloved on booktube so I'm sure a lot of people are really excited about this book and I think it sounds really interesting. It's about these four famous siblings who throw this end of summer party I think and during the course of this party their lives change forever. I have read the book The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by this author and really enjoyed it and this one sounds really good. Next we have got one I may have thrown in almost entirely because of the cover and it is The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan Hitt. I mean this cover is just I know you're not supposed to judge books by their covers, but like when it looks like this, how can you not? This one is a YA science fiction novel and it's set, I think, like in the future where most of the earth has been like polluted and we meet this girl who lives in one of the last unpolluted cities in the world and then there's something about this girl who's lived on an abandoned island for like three years. That's all I really know, but I think I might have to get this one because just look at it. Lastly, we have got two books coming out in June, and the first one that caught my eye was The Chosen and the Beautiful by Nevo. This is a reimagining of The Great Gatsby, which honestly, that is enough for me. But this one really sounds fantastic. There seems to be like magic in this book, and the main character is Asian, adopted, and some sort of magician. And I just think it sounds absolutely amazing. Lastly, we've got one of the books that I am absolutely most excited about that's coming out this year. It's like The Survivors and then this one, and it is The Maidens by Alex Michaelitis. This says it's a spellbinding story of psychological suspense that weaves together Greek mythology, murder, and obsession, and it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. And we've got like a shady Greek professor at like an elite college and this secret society called the Maidens and like murder and it just takes like all of the boxes for me and I cannot wait for this book to come out. Okay everyone, those were all the lovely books that I had on my little list to talk about today. I'd love to know what books you are excited about that's coming out this year, what are they about and why are you excited? Tell me all about it. Links to my Patreon and other social media will be in the description as usual if you're interested, and I'll see you soon. Bye!